I'm here with Dr. Umama Marvi. Hello. And what are we going to talk about? We're talking about arthritis today. Arthritis, something that I've heard a lot about, but what exactly does it mean? So arthritis, so I think in Greek, arth is arth, arthro joint, and itis is inflammation. I see. So it, 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 if you literally interpret it, it means joint, joint inflammation. Joint inflammation, I yeah. See. So just having joint pain doesn't necessarily mean you have arthritis. You have to have some underlying, inf some inflammation. I see. And is it just one disease? Oh, no. Um, there are about 100 different types of arthritis. And since this uh, depends on what is causing that inflammation, we can categorize them in many, many, many different ways ways. Um, so the most common arthritis that most people know about and think about is osteoarthritis. Um, it's uh, more of a, we call it degenerative arthritis. And the other next common, most common is rheumatoid arthritis. I see. And then there's about, uh, you know, like a hundred other types of arthritis. And I'll just briefly mention, you know, so arthritis or inflammation could be due to an infection. So we, that's septic arthritis. It could be due to um, uh, crystals or gout. Uh, people have heard of that and multiple other other things. I see. Yeah. So just so, you, so you're aware of that. I see. We're, we're, we're going to focus on the most common ones, which is osteoarthritis, which is about, uh, osteoarthritis is about 10% of the population, but um, when you really look at it, about 30% of women after the age of 60 will have osteoarthritis. Wow. Uh, and about 20% of men, in some in one joint at least. I see. As opposed to rheumatoid arthritis, um, which is considered more of an inflammatory type of arthritis mm -hmm. because it is it has a lot more inflammation, swelling, warmth. Uh, so when we talk about inflammation, those are the symptoms are going to be, you're going to, in addition to having pain, you're going to have swelling, you're going to have warmth, you're going to have stiffness, you, you may or may not have redness depending on how severe the inflammation is. Okay. So at high level, what, what, are, the, what are the different symptoms between the two? Yeah. So, so not only are different joints affected. Um, in osteoarthritis versus rheumatoid arthritis, most people who have osteoarthritis will complain of having uh, complain of pain, uh, usually in the evenings. They'll have uh, pain after they've done a pretty strenuous, um, you know, some activity, or if they've overused that joint, they're going to have more pain. Um, they complain of stiffness mostly, but uh, stiffness is lasting only for about five minutes in the morning. So when they wake up, they loosen up, but then. You know, 30 minutes maximum is, you know, 5 to 30 minutes is when you feel that stiffness and it starts getting better as you start moving mm -hmm. around. As opposed to in rheumatoid arthritis, where most of the pain and stiffness is happening early in the morning when they wake up, oh, my God, they feel, you know, it takes them an hour to two hours to start moving around and, and feeling loose again. Um, so just also, to be clear, so you're saying osteoarthritis usually the pains in the evening, they might have at most five to 30 minutes of just kind of a little bit of stiffness. Stiffness in the morning, But a rheumatoid yeah. arthritis, they, that's where their their pain is in yeah. the morning. Yeah, mornings is worse. Of course, you know, both of these diseases, you can have pain all throughout the day, but generally it's worse in mm -hmm. the morning for rheumatoid arthritis patients, and it mm -hmm. improves as the go day goes on. Mm -hmm. It also improves with activity. So the more active a rheumatoid patient is, the less their symptoms are bothering them. If they're sitting for too long, they're going to feel like things just are hurting more and osteoarthritis more improves with activity as well osteoarthritis is opposite so it, the see. more active they are the more it hurts because it's overuse related it's, I see. it's more you use the joint the more the pain will will be um, so that's just kind of basic you know ways you can classify some of the symptoms and that's how we try to tease um, what could be the cause of the symptoms. The other thing, way that osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis are different is that in osteoarthritis, it's a, mostly the joints affected are the weight-bearing joints. So your spine, so it could be neck, it could be lumbar, lumbar spine, lower back spine, um, hips and knees. Spine, hips. hips knees, um, and then your hands. So certain, mm. some joints of the hand are affected. In rheumatoid arthritis, since it's not necessarily weight-bearing, you can have arthritis mostly in hands, wrists, elbows, shoulders, um, feet, um, knees as well, and hips as well. But, you know, 
in osteoarthritis, it's very large Swede bearing joints, and that's important to know. And I see. Hands in both, but... But hands also in, in osteoarthritis, there are certain joints of the hand that are affected. In rheumatoid, there's other I joints see. of the hand that are affected. So that also um, depends right. from... Differentiates yeah, the two. Differentiates the two. Other things we want to talk about, um, I didn't mention the incidence of rheumatoid mm -hmm. arthritis. So um, it's about 1% of the population, and it's much more common in women than men. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's usually in uh, in women in their 40s and 60s will develop rheumatoid arthritis, but again, people fall outside of that as well. Um, osteoarthritis is a disease of older age. So uh, the older you get, the more likely you will get it, but not mm -hmm. all old people will have osteoarthritis, so there is a genetic predisposition for it um, as well. Uh, there's also, if you are obese, you have a mm -hmm. higher risk of developing osteoarthritis because your weight-bearing joints are affected. And if you've had some injury to the joint, so in the past if you had, um, you know, you played soccer and you pulled uh, a ligament in your knee, then in, in the future instability of the joint and can cause more likely to have osteoarthritis in the future. So, um, And then other things are overuse. So people who do some repetitive activities for a long, mm. long time, um, could potentially cause some injury to that joint. That's micro injuries, and and that can later develop into osteoarthritis. Mm. And what about rheumatoid? Rheumatoid arthritis again. So it's women. Women, um, uh, genetic, so definitely family okay, so history. Genetic is common to both. Yeah, common to both. Um, and beyond that, I mean, we don't know really know the cause, and we don't really, there's no other r real way to predict who mm. will develop rheumatoid arthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, you do have, uh, since an, it's an autoimmune disease, mm -hmm. um, your immune system is acting um, inappropriately, and it's causing inflammation of your in, your own joints. I see, so, it's attacking itself. And it's not an infection or anything like that. We don't think so far, so... Um, because your immune system is acting inappropriately, there are some blood markers in the blood in your in your blood if you have rheumatoid arthritis, such as rheumatoid factor. People talk about uh, and other tests that can that can indicate that you have a mm. high risk for having it or you may have it. I see. Um, so let's talk a little bit about. Um, what is actually going on in osteoarthritis versus rheumatoid arthritis. And you can look at this photo here, and I can show you what what the different things here are. So this is uh, an example of a joint, mm -hmm. and you see there are two bones coming together to One make bone, that joint. Bones, yeah. And the lining right around that bone in the gray or brown color mm -hmm. is that's the thick, thick uh, is the cartilage, this entire yeah. thing. This gray area. Uh, gray area. So cartilage is basically a um, spongy material mm -hmm. that uh, serves as a shock absorber for mm -hmm. your joint. Um, and lining the cartilage, is, in blue you see that there is some fluid. Mm -hmm. And so that the fluid is also going to help with um, the shock absorbing and helping uh, have a nice gliding motion when you are moving that joint. Right. The fluid uh, is lined by a synovial lining. Or membrane, synovial, synovial membrane. Synovial fluid lined by synovial, synovial lining. Synovial lining or synovial membrane yeah. where there are cells. Mm -hmm. And these cells are immune cells. And for some reason in rheumatoid arthritis, those cells replicate and mm -hmm. can get cause a local inflammation. I see. So this whole, the, the, the membrane just gets thicker. Thicker. And it, because there's so much other, they're recruiting other cells and mm -hmm. more, more, you know, more blood flow that causes destruction of the surrounding structures. Mm. So you can get destruction of the bones right there, and they can make holes in the bones. Call, we call them erosions. Mm. Um, they can also cause destruction of the surrounding ligaments, of the cartilage, mm. and that causes you to get pain, um, causes deformities of the joint, and causes instability of the joint, so the mm. joint can't function. That's in rheumatoid arthritis. Um, in osteoarthritis, mm -hmm. Um, we don't think that the synovial membrane is that active. Again, there is some level of inflammation going on there, but most of it is related to the cartilage lining mm -hmm. getting getting micro uh, injury, mm -hmm. and that over time can get break down mm -hmm. and eventually just disappear altogether. Mm -hmm. the cartilage lining, wow. and also when you develop bone hitting bone because the cartilage is now gone. Mm -hmm. 
you can imagine that's quite painful. But also because bone hits bone, there's also other things that are uh, dysregulated and you end up getting more bone formation. Mm. So they have extra bone just keeps growing mm. um, and causes, starts hitting other area, other structures around and causes pain um, and, and deformity and usually joints get bigger. Oh, wow. So if I were to, to summarize, this is very helpful. If I were to summarize it, uh, arthritis is not just one disease. It's kind of a class of symptoms around joint inflammation. Exactly. And the, there, as you mentioned, there's hundreds of types of it. Uh, the most typical are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid. Osteo is very typical, 10% of the population. That's huge. Rheumatoid is 1%, so still a, a significant number of people, but exactly. not as frequent as osteo. Mm-hmm. And, fr- and from what I'm hearing, it sounds like because you know osteoarthritis is weight-bearing joints, it's fr- it, you get it from injury to joints or from overuse. Obviously, genetics is a part of it. But it seems like it's much more of a, I, I guess for lack of a better word, it's much more of a mechanical uh, kind of a mechanically induced disease. We don't know for sure. Yeah. We don't. Yeah, De- yeah some sort of degenerative degeneration, mechan- yeah. mechanical obesity is a risk factor. Right. Uh, while rheumatoid arthritis. A lot of inflammation. A lot of inflammation. It's something much more. Your immune system is responding in some in, in some way. Exactly. Very cool. So there you have it. Thank you.